Hey, the debates are tonight. You coming? Yeah, on my way now. Uh, why so early? Well, we like to, you know, discuss the issues, get a jump on things. I don't know about this. I, uh... I think I'll offend people. I take politics seriously. We all take it seriously. We even get dressed up. No, I, I'll piss people off. Don't worry about it. Just get here. Okay. All right, see you at four. We've been nobly awaiting your personage, please. Enter. What's going on, Max? The debate shall commence henceforth with. So please, take the place prescribed to. Ah! Uh, thanks for the invite, but I'm- Have a seat, Jerry. <laughs> the debates are about to begin. As always, I will be your moderator, Thomas Jefferson of Virginia. Our debaters today will be Julius Caesar, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, Jacqueline Kennedy, Malcolm X, Jerry Pigeon, Bono. Firstly, we will have Julius Caesar of Rome and Jesus the Christ of Nazareth debating the flat tax. What's going on? Um, it's a debate, my brother. They are debating the flat tax. Why is Jesus Christ debating the flat tax? Well, clearly he, the man, has an opinion about it, and so that's just what's going to happen. He's going to express himself. And I say, give Caesar what is Caesar's. You're quoting me? You're quoting me? And now Caesar will turn the other cheek. Why are they pretending to be other people? You're stuck in a moment, and you can't get out of it. I seem to be. And yet the poor should not be taxed. Or maybe they should be taxed the most because they shall inherit the earth. Are those judges? Are there winners? My brother, it's a Caucasian caucus. Once again, a black brother will be judged by the white man. But let me tell you something. White men like so yourself sorry. to teach you a lesson that you're never- Do we have a volunteer to go next? Gerald, would you like to give it a shot? Sure. And his opponent will be... Let him come unto me and be crucified. Your topic? Mandatory sentencing. <laughs> As the Father says, an eye for an eye. You're the worst Jesus I've ever seen. I've seen mall Santas that are more Jesus than you. Our prisons are overfilled, full of minorities, right? We are spending billions of dollars incarcerating people for minor drug offenses. Is there even a debate here? All sentences should be mandatory. And the sentence shall be forgiveness. What? The voters have spoken. It's all in how you play the game. I want another try. Well, I'll take this one. Oh, great. Body cameras! I like starving children! <laughs> no! Gay marriage is family values! Tie it to inflation! How could I be losing these debates? There are no valid points being made! You're all just using historical sound bites you never even experienced. You never marched with Martin Luther King. Your voice is terrible. You're way too young to be Jackie Kennedy. And you slapped Caesar. Calm down, Jerry. I will not calm down. You are making a mockery of the political process, and I won't stand for it. It's all the same, isn't it? Oh, Max, you scared the crap out of me. What do you want? We used to be just like you, Jerry. Reading political blogs all the time, constantly consumed by the 24-hour news cycle. I even threw my cat at a picture of the president once. Which president? Doesn't matter. 
The point is we started this group to open up our minds. Debating as these historical characters helps us to understand how other people think. It makes us less angry. So we're less consumed with the absolute stupidity of all the people who don't share our views. I just... Well, I just thought you could use a little bit of that in your life. Think about it. Welcome back, Mr. Lincoln. I'll turn both cheeks. How you like them apples? Look at me in the eye and do that again. You're tougher than I thought. You're a tough old Jew. Oh, you're the, the sweetest thing. Beautiful day. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had better. You know, you're not supposed to touch white people after Labor Day. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>